low in the ranking? Yeah, ranking is um, uh, FIFA, is UEFA, they, they're different. Um, and we don't talk about it. It's, it's, it's yeah, what you have done that's going higher up. And you can say for tomorrow it's, um, it could be very important to be higher up because if uh, we and Portugal, uh, Netherlands are the same uh, with everything, uh, it's, it's one thing, it's ranking. And they are higher ranking in, in, in Europe, so then we lost. Um, so these, you, you don't prepare games uh, looking at that. So, so it's a team we're going to meet. It's, it's not the ranking. So I don't care about it. I don't know. <laughs> you don't. I, I don't think about things like that. I'm, I'm not supposing thing. I don't uh, living in the future. It's. Uh, it's more when you when you got the draw, you see, ah, oh, this is the team you're going to meet, and then you prepare for, for the first game, and when the first game is over, you prepare for the second game, and you, you try to win the group. It's always uh, uh, one thing, but it starts with the first game, and we know for tomorrow it's the only interesting thing is that we know that we have to win, and maybe we have to win with some goals to, to win the group. Um, and it, we know also that if we lost, we, we're not going to play quarterfinal. So that's that's fact. So it's more um, how Portugal play, um, how we're going to play. It, it's more things like that that interesting me. And I know that speculation, everything like that, it's it's okay because that's that's one thing of the interesting to be. In the future, yeah, thinking about things, uh, but um, for, for me, it's um, it's more the the game tomorrow. It's it's the only game we play, and uh, uh, during that ninety minutes, you try to be one hundred percent as a coach, uh, thinking with your experience, looking at the game, what can you do, um, and try to win the game. Uh, one final. Yeah, we met them twice during my time uh, in, in Algarve, and I, <clears throat> I think uh, on the net they have taken steps uh, from the first time we met them to the second now. And when I look at them now uh, in uh, against Netherlands and Switzerland, they, I think they're better. Um, they have uh, very skillful players, individual, technical, uh, speedy players, and that's uh, I think every team needs that kind of players. Um, and then when you got a little bit of time to work with them, uh, as Nieto has, uh, you can see that uh, they're taking steps all the time. So uh, when they draw uh, Switzerland and they, they, they have been under two goals and come up, so it's, uh, it's mentally strong. Uh, but it's, it's, it's also qualities. And, uh, Especially qualities, I think that centre midfielder are very technical. They're very brave to come out of situations, and if they do, they have very high speed. Uh, we met Brazil in, in before, and I think now when we talk about the Brazil game, we said that yeah, maybe uh, the Portugal game going to be more likely because the Brazil also have very speedy players. So, um, we have to handle that and. Um, uh, then our way to play in the defense, uh, I hope that we can be as strong in the defense as we have been in the, in the tournament. But we need to improve to be better in the passing. We have to be speed it up, uh, play like um, more um, attacking uh, than just passing the ball around. Uh, no, we're all really excited for tomorrow's game and. Uh, we also think that the other two games were really important, so it's the same tomorrow. It's nothing special for us. Uh, and hopefully we'll manage to win that game as well, as we aim to do with every game we participate in. And yeah, qualify for the quarterfinals. Uh, we know it will be a tough game tomorrow. Uh, Portugal have been playing two really good games, I think. And obviously they have a lot of individual qualities, uh, really technical players. and. The two strikers, the both Silvas, uh, have been performing really good. So it's going to be a strong Portugal. We will manage to play again, uh, play against tomorrow.